what we have learned at the early part of this class. We have learned one thing that there are various option valuation models available, but all these option valuation models have been primarily designed for determining the value of call options only. So, what if there is a put option and you want to find the fair value of that put option. So, there is a put option suppose with an exercise price of rupees 500. Okay. So, what you do is you pick a call option on the same underlying that is on the same share which also has exercise price of 500 and find the value of that call option. Then through the value of the call option use this put call parity equation and derive the value of put option and how do you do that it is a very simple task take the present value of the call option to that you add the present value of exercise price and subtract the current market price of the share and you will be able to derive the value of put option. I will repeat the process you first obtain the value of the call option to that you add the present value of exercise price and from that you subtract the current market price of the share and you will be able to identify what would be the value of put option and this parity equation is called put call parity equation and this entire theory is what we refer to as put call parity theory. So, I will do two things for you first I will show you the put call parity equation and then we will also learn in detail how to derive this equation logically. So, let us do one thing let us first write up the put call parity equation that I have just mentioned value of put option will be equal to value of call option plus PV of exercise price and minus the present market price of the share. Let us try to understand the whole equation and this put call parity theory through the example given in question number 26. Let us read this question first. It says present market price of the share is rupees 250 risk free interest rate is 10 percent per annum. The investor believes that price of the share will increase by end of the year and hence is willing to take advantage by investing rupees 250 today and acquire one share simultaneously to protect himself from the risk of declining prices he buys a put option at an exercise price of 250. The present worth of his investment under the strategy equals to rupees 250 plus p where p is the put option premium. Now before I read the question further let me explain this very very popular strategy in the field of options. What we are finding over here commonly known as protective put I repeat it is commonly known as protective put. Now why a protective put let me explain you purchased an equity share today which has market price of rupees 250. You have of course purchased a share with an expectation that the price will rise correct, but what if the price falls. So, if the price falls you need some protection. So, you have simultaneously taken a put option that means now you are holder of put option and the exercise price of that put option is the same price at which you bought the share that was 250. So, imagine if the price of the share in the market falls down to 200 you will be able to sell the share for 200 only get realization of rupees 200, but because you are holding a put option which gives you right to sell the share at the exercise price of rupees 250 and the prevailing market price goes 200 that differential of rupees 50 comes to your pocket that means you will realize a minimum value of rupees 250 no matter even if the price declines. However, if the price rises up what will happen suppose the price goes to 300 you do not exercise your put option let it lapse sell the share in the open market for rupees 300 and you get the wealth of 300 in your hand. So, you are participating in profits only you have complete protection against the losses and that is how this particular strategy is identified as a protective put. 
but it doesn't end over here i mean the question reading doesn't end over here the question is little longer so let me take you to the later part of the question and i'll explain you one more strategy that is included herein so the later part of the question says the investor can create an alternative strategy by buying a call option today at an exercise price of rupees 250 and simultaneously investing the present value of the exercise price in risk free investments the present value of his investment under this strategy equals to 250 divided by 1.1 plus c that is 227.27 plus c where c is the call option premium you are required to explain the position of the investor under both the strategies for the following situations number one the market price of the share increases to 300 and number two the market price of the share falls down to rupees 200 all right friends so let me explain you the impact of this alternative strategy so first of all you have seen one thing already in case of protective put that i have already explained you a minute back when the share price falls down to 200 you will still get 250 and how you will get 250 you sell the share for 200 and by exercising the put option you will get that differential of rupees 50 if the share price rises to 300 what you do is you sell the share in the open market for 300 and just let your put option lapse and that will give you the realization of 300 so if the market price falls to 200 you are not participating in the loss if the market price rises to 300 you are definitely participating in the profit so your wealth will be either 250 or 300 your wealth will never drop below 250 in that earlier strategy now what about this strategy the alternate strategy so if the investor is considering this alternate strategy first thing that you need to understand is the risk free rate of interest given in the question is 10 percent per annum so if there is a one year call option now i am talking about a call option so if there is one year call option what you do is you find the present value of exercise price and this logic we have discussed with the portfolio replication model and if you haven't watched that logic yet i told you that logic we are going to discuss in the lecture 8a so over there you would find that when you are buying a call option means you have right to purchase the share but to exercise that right and if you actually want to purchase the share you should have that much money in hand by end of the period so what we generally do is whatever be the present value of that exercise price we put that money in risk free investment so that the present value invested today finally turns into a maturity value which would match with the exercise price so that if you actually want to buy the share you can actually buy the share anyway we won't actually buy the share by end of the period because we want to have all cash realizations by end of the period but as a strategy what we are doing over here in this alternate strategy we are holding a call option and whatever be the exercise price the present value of that exercise price we have put into risk free investment so because the exercise price in our example is rupees 250 and the risk free interest rate is 10 percent per annum and the period involved is one year what we would do is simply take 250 divided by 1.1 to arrive at the present value and that present value is 227.27 if you get the present value of exercise price and that money you are investing in risk free investment so that the ultimate maturity value of that risk free investment will be 250 your call option that you are holding may or may not have some value but one thing is for sure that your risk free investment won't drop below 250 correct now imagine the market price falls down to 200 what you would do what you would do because the market price has dropped to 200 you won't exercise your call option because we have learned one thing call options are exercisable only when the market price is greater than the exercise price so if the market price drops to 200 don't exercise your call option let it lapse but the risk-free investment maturity value will still be 
rupees 250 so you would get rupees 250 in your hand by end of the year if the market price of the share rises to 300 then your risk free investment would give you 250 of inflow and that time the call option becomes exercisable because the market price has gone to 300 exercise price of that call option is just 250 so what you can do you can take 250 as cash flow from risk free investment and differential of market price minus exercise price on exercising the call option as a differential benefit of rupees 50 250 plus 50 the total wealth in your hand will be 300 so we are observing when the market price drops to 200 in either of the two strategies you are still getting rupees 250 when the market price rises to 300 in either of the strategies you are getting an inflow of 300 that means both the strategies are allowing you to participate in the profits and definitely giving you complete protection against losses isn't this a great way to deal in stock and derivative market by either strategy one where you are holding a share along with a put option and the alternate strategy where you are putting your money in risk free investments along with holding a call option both strategies would give you eventually the same outcome by end of the period so isn't it wonderful so the question has basically asked you to show the outcome i have already discussed that outcome with you while explaining this whole point so we will do one thing we will now systematically write down the solution and once we write down the solution we will then talk about one logical thing that if the outcome of the two strategies by end of the period is same the present value of investment under the two strategies would also be the same and the moment i say that both the strategies present value will be the same we have identified the present value of each strategy already right we just formulate an equation and through that equation when you derive the value of put option it will be put call parity equation so let us not rush up i'll explain you that equation when the right time comes as of now we have to answer this particular question and let us see how to present the solution over here in your answer you would first begin with situation one where the share price goes up to rupees 300 so outcome of strategy one as per strategy one the investor holds the share as well as put option to sell it at rupees 250 if the market price is 300 the investor will not exercise the put option and let it lapse and will realize rupees 300 by selling the share at prevailing market price the total wealth in the hands of the investor at the year end will be 300 plus 0 that is rupees 300 let us move ahead and write up the solution further what would be the outcome of strategy 2 as per strategy 2 the investor holds risk free investment as well as call option to purchase the share at rupees 250 if the market price is 300 the call option will be exercised for a benefit of 300 minus 250 that is rupees 50 the maturity value of risk free investment will be rupees 250 the total wealth in the hands of investor at the year end will be 50 plus 250 that is rupees 300 conclusion when the share price increases to rupees 300 the wealth in the hands of the investor will be same in each of the two strategies let us move ahead and we go to the next situation when the share price falls down to rupees 200 so this is a negative scenario where the share price is dropping down but uh, we don't have to worry because we have taken complete protection in both the strategies so outcome of strategy one would be if the market price is rupees 200 the put option will be exercised for a benefit of 250 minus 200 that is rupees 50 the share can be sold at its market price of 200 the total wealth in the hands of the investor at the year end will be 50 plus 200 that is rupees 250 let us go ahead and deal with the same situation but under outcome of strategy 2 if the market price is 200 the call option will be lapsed the value of risk free investment will be rupees 250 the total wealth in the hands of the investor at the year end will be 0 plus 250 that is rupees 250 conclusion when the share price falls to rupees 200 the wealth in the hands of the investor will be same in each of the two strategies let us move ahead and put forward 
yet another very very interesting question how would you apply put call parity theory in the above example and determine the value of put option now try to recollect what we have concluded we have formulated two different strategies both strategies are great because they are not allowing you to participate in the losses but they are giving you complete participation in the gains so we have already observed that both the strategies are giving exact same outcome by end of the year how much did you invest in the first strategy rupees 250 for purchasing the share and the put option premium that you would have paid which we have identified as p so 250 plus p is the investment in strategy 1 at beginning of the year what was the investment in strategy 2 at beginning of the year present value of exercise price you have put in risk free investment that was 227.27 plus you have purchased a call option and call option premium what you have paid from your pocket is assumed as c so c plus 227.27 is the present value of investment in strategy 2 because the outcome at the year end is same under both strategies their present value at the beginning of the year must be same and that is where we are going to formulate an equation where we would write 250 plus p equals to 227.27 plus c once we get this equation c is the value of call option where call option value you can determine through any option valuation model and when you replace that c with the proper value of that call option you can find from that equation the balancing figure as p which is the value of put option so we are deriving the value of put option from the obtained value of call option and that is where we are bringing two strategies at parity one where there was a call option one where there was a put option and we are bringing these two strategies at parity that is why it is called put call parity the theory is called put call parity theory and the equation that we are going to derive from this is called put call parity equation so let us see how to write up this answer over here so you can just write the answer by mentioning if the outcome of the two different strategies is same then the present value of investment under each of the strategies would also be or should also be same p plus 250 equals to c plus 227.27 so value of p will be c plus 227.27 minus 250 and if i try to put the variables over here p equals to c remains as it is in place of 227.27 what is this conceptually it is present value of exercise price and minus 250 conceptually this is spot price that is s0 so we get value of put option as equal to value of call option plus present value of exercise price minus the current market price or present market price of the equity share